Hello everyone, today I have a tutorial using stamping um, and one of my bundle monster plates. It's a nice pink and um, faded purple with gold glitter design using um, the plate 201. And it also, not only is it a full blown tutorial, but it also has stamping tips. It was requested, thank you for requesting it. Um, she was having trouble with her stamping uh, stuff and wanted to see me do a video stamping as well as give tips so this is that video and if you're interested in watching a video like this please continue to for watch. For this look you'll need um, if you're doing on your real nails a base coat, top coat, a pink nail polish I'm using NYC's uh, Mama nail polish A clean color nail polish, um, but you'll need a purple one. This one's in metallic purple. A gold glitter. This is just a no-named hard candy uh, Christmas set polish. It's a gold glitter. Or any other glitter you choose to use. Also, um, if you're going to be stamping your special nail polish or a nail polish out of your collection you're going to stamp with, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Polish in Ebony Hates Chris. Also, your stamping tools, your scraper, and your stamper. Also, if you're doing exactly what I'm going to do, you're also going to need a makeup sponge. And, of course, whatever plate you choose to use in stamping. Um, a napkin, so your surface doesn't get dirty. Lots of Q-tips for cleanup and stuff. Um, I'm using acetone nail polish remover. So I've already applied two coats of the NYC nail polish on my index and my thumb. And um, the rest of my nails are actually done. The next step that I'm going to do is use a glitter. And this is the gold glitter. And I'm just going to be applying a thick layer of that. After your glitter polish is dry, take your sponge and we're going to create a fade using the metallic purple. And you don't want to use, usually I like to use at least three colors for a fade, but um, I'm not this time because black, then I wouldn't be able to see the design on the finished nail. Put the majority of the polish at the tip. And then I just slowly fade it down. And just like that. And that's all there is to the fade. And the basic nail polish. So let that dry. I'm going to be stamping with um, BM Plate Bundle Monster Plate 201. And with these little swirly... Um, full nail stamp here. It just has little swirls and to me it looks really um, like fairy tale like enchanted uh, something like that. I have about four tips that for uh, stamping and this was also requested and when I do stamping I do a few things to make it go smoothly for application and such on the nails and to get the complete stamp off of the plate and it also does depend on what brand and plate you're using some of them aren't the grooves aren't deep enough or whatever um, or shallow enough for you to pick up the design but that's all uh, basically um, company preference really with the, the plates and stuff and a lot of the bundle monsters and uh, different cheaper brands that make these are hits and misses but I really do like the bundle monster plates and I like them better than the salon um, express uh, one and one thing is if you don't own special nail polishes or you don't want to pay the four to six dollars to buy a special polish I only have one special polish and it's white 
So I use a black nail polish from my collection to do uh, stamping with the black. This is an odor polish and it helps that if it's an odor polish and it's thick and very opaque. Uh, this is about a one coat black and it's just Wet n Wild's Ebony Hates Chris nail polish. It's um, $2, very affordable. The only thing is it's fast drying and it does dry just like one of these special polishes do and um, it's just really nice for stamping so try this one if you can't afford to get special polishes or just think it's unnecessary like me um, also another nail polishes that you can use to stamp with are metallic nail polishes they work really good for stamping and you get a really unique design with the metallic nail polishes they just work really nice um, with the stamp plates so I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Cover the entire design. And you still do want to work fast because it is fast drying. Using the Conan scraper. It off. And then the Salon Express. I like this one because you can see the full design on here a lot easier. Okay, you can see the design. And I just try to line it up, put my nail in the middle, and roll it on first. And then to get the tip, I rock the design on the tip as well. So roll it and then rock it at the tip back and forth so the design will be all over. And I'm not saying that if you follow all these steps like it's going to be perfect every single time because a lot of times it's not perfect. But you can redo it if you choose to. If you don't that's fine. But you can always double stamp if you'd like as well. So it doesn't matter. So that I, I just, like I said, I line it up and put my nail about in the middle, roll it, and then rock it on the tip to get it on there. Then you want to get some nail polish remover and some Q-tips, and you want to clean your stuff off. Another thing that I can say is um, you don't have to clean your plate every single time, but there are polish residue still left in the plate every time you stamp. So what I like to do is I take my Q-tip and I clean my plate after every single stamp. I think that that helps too to ensure that I'm picking up that all the design, the entire design every time I stamp a nail. And I just clean that off thoroughly. And my stamper, or I mean my scraper part, the stamper gets cleaned off every time as well. The scraper, I like to clean it off at least every couple nails. So, if I had more nails to do, I would do like two, and then I would clean it off to get all of the residue polish off of that for a clean scrape. I put a little bit of pressure to pick up the stamp as well and I just clean all my things up and have them ready to be put up and that's all I do that's that's the tips I have for stamping um, it's really simple stuff, but just doing a couple of them could mean the difference in, you know, a crappy stamp and then it coming out really nicely. So the last thing I always do is apply a top coat to my design after I've cleaned all my things. Allow the stamp time to dry as well. And of course, polish the free edge. And also, for cleanup, all you need to do 
with some nail polish remover and a q-tip go around your edges and clean clean it up and that's all there is to it i hope you found this video helpful with the stamping tips thank you for requesting it and thank you guys for watching